Well, Kelly, uh, I think they're going to hang tough. I think they're going to do their part to drive economic growth, but that means growth will slow. I mean, consumer spending has been boom-like. I mean, if you look at year-over-year -year real consumer spending growth at 6 7%, can't sustain that. So a year from now, we'll be down around 2%. So we're going to see some throttling back here. But I think there's enough tailwinds here to keep the consumer in the game. Having said that, you know, your per one's perception of what the consumer is doing depends on which part of the consumer elephant you touch. So right. if you're looking at the good side of the economy uh, and, uh, you know, consumer spending on, you know, uh, everything from, uh, you know, what you put on your back. Like, for example, uh, my, the, I, I have two power washers now, uh, uh, Kelly. <laughs> my two, wife jokes that I, I need Two power washers. More, yeah. It, very empowering, I should say. But my wife jokes that I needed one to wash the other. So it just gives you a sense of things. I, I'm not going to be buying a power washer for the rest of my life. And so I think a lot of other people are the same thing. But, you know, we haven't been traveling. We haven't been going to restaurants. We haven't been going to ball games. And we're going to do a lot more of that. So depending on which part of the consumer you look at, uh, you'll see you'll get a different sense of what's going on. Well, send it up, Mark, because we need our house power wash. Maybe you could save us a buck. Uh, I, I, it's empowering. I highly recommend it. Yeah. I just wonder if you can tell us whether the Fed needs to respond to this shift by tightening policy, running down the balance sheet aggressively, getting ahead of the wage pressures and other trends, or not? I mean, it, the, the shift from goods to services should be disinflationary, oh, except that wages are kind of spoiling that narrative. Well, you know, I think the, the Fed has a lot of catching up to do, because if you look at overall consumer spending, you know, add up the goods, add up the services, tote it all up, consumer spending is, you know, exactly where you would have expected it to be you know, if there had been no pandemic. So, you know, take a trend line prior to the pandemic, draw it out, you know, consumer spending is there. And that was a full employment economy. So we're back to, you know, a full employment economy. Of course, the, you know, the funds rate target still, you know, quarter point. So a lot of work to catch, uh, catching up uh, to do here. So I expect them to really raise rates very aggressively. And of course, on top of that, we've got these inflationary problems, inflation expectations are elevated due to the supply side shocks, you know, the pandemic scrambling supply chains and labor markets, and now the Russian invasion of Ukraine, creating all kinds of uh, problems for, for gasoline markets and commodity markets. So all that comes together and says, hey, you know, the Fed's got a normalized policy here very, very quickly. You know, a lot of, a lot of Americans are already thinking about cutting back because of inflation. Uh, our survey shows that half of adults say they've cut back on dining out and consider reducing uh, that further if inflation continues to bite them. You say as well that that consumer spending will probably slow. That implies the economy will probably slow, which implies that corporate profits will probably slow, which implies that stocks may have trouble gaining. What do you say? Yeah, yeah I think you connected all the dots very well, uh, Tyler. I mean, it's, it's really important, I think, to recognize that one of the principal ways monetary policy impacts the economy is through stock prices, credit spreads in the bond market, underwriting standards, you know, financial conditions. And right now, the stock market's down what? You tell me, 5 6% from its all-time high. Not very much. Not very much. Not very much. So, you know, the, the, ultimately, the, 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 the way this is going to work, the economy is going to slow. The stock market has to reflect that. So I do expect the stock market to have a, a tough few months here as it ultimately adjusts to what the Fed is doing and will do going, going forward. Mark.